Hey everyone, we're back home in Blackburn, our home suburb. Uh, we're doing this project here for RNA Architects. So this is the frame stage. We just had our steel installed. We've uh, just done the lower story framework and we get posits delivered early next week. So it's come along quite well so far. We did have a bit of uh, uh, a slow passage, I suppose, throughout the base stage. And now we're just pushing on with the rest of the frame. So we hope we will be able to push on now without any real issues or, or hold ups going forward. But yeah, it's coming together and we look forward to seeing the end of frame stage shortly. So guys, basically one thing I'd like to share is, uh, when, we, when we decide to build a project or when builders decide to build a project is you have to make a decision on whether you go with a prefabricated wall frame or a stick frame. Uh, all of Malara's projects tend to be stick frame, where we get the carpenters on site, we get the materialist, and they'll build the frames from scratch. Uh, the other option is you get prefabricated wall frames, which in my opinion, it's always better to use stick framing because on a custom job like this, where there are a number of different walls and there aren't any, uh, any one wall that's like a long, typical transition, it doesn't make much sense or work in terms of economies to get prefabricated wall frames, in my opinion. Uh, they tend to be more in a commercial sense where you've got long runs and it makes sense to have those prefabricated wall frames, but in homes and, and townhouses where you've got a lot of different corners and that sort of stuff, uh, I think it's better to always have stick frames and build them on site uh, to our needs. Yes, uh, when we do our posies and trusses, obviously in modern times, it makes sense to do those things in a factory and have them delivered in, on site. But when it comes to the frames itself, it's always better, in my opinion, to do stick framing. 